Buddha enlightened by Saki Potsi, once a chat sooty Lumbini copil was to Aunu Bakoso. So when Buddha was, and he spent his rainy retreat uh, in Saranath. What happened that Buddha enlightened in Bodhagaya? So from Bodhagaya, he spent seven weeks in Bodhagaya. Then he was he was thinking that who will understand my teaching? Buddha could teaching say Jun Bela Kutya, sixth century BC ma. Jun Bela ma say Brahminism was already there. So Brahminism ko say part bada here da kiri Atma, Ishwar, Jatipati. This sub kura Brahminism mathe ek prakar lese cemented theo. So Buddha he saw that there is no any supreme creator, there is no any caste discrimination among the society. Buddha used to say that everybody's tears is salty, and everybody's blood is red. Why he come a Brahmin and why he is a Sudra? Abo isto kisim ko je Buddha ko je teaching ligar, I mean enlightened ligar da kiri. Buddha thought that who can understand my this what I I mean achieved it. So he thought that first he will go to his teacher Alar Kalam and Uddhaka Ramaputra. Unfortunately, these two teachers were already passed away. So Buddha thought then his five friends who were accompanied in a Pragbodhi or Dungeshori, they practiced meditation together. These five Brahmins, they were in Saranath. So Buddha from Sar, I mean Bodh Gaya to Saranath, almost like a 260 or 70 kilometer Buddha travel all the way from Bodh Gaya to Saranath. So when he made these five friends, uh, then Buddha told that, you know, this is the what things I achieved it. So first teaching Buddha gave is there is that the four noble truth in the eightfold path, and that is the two extremes of our life. कि हमें सुख अति सुख खोचों कि चाहे हमें अति प्लेजरस लाइफ खोचों कि इस राचे शरीर लाचे अति ने ट्रांसफर करे राचे हमें कि अचीव करना खोजी रहा कौन सा तर त्यो बात राचे मिडिल वे बुद्ध ले जून पत्ता लाऊं जून पत्ता लाऊं नू बो ही शेयर विथ देर फ्रेंड्स सो दिस फाइव ब्राह्मिंस दे वेर द फर्स्ट � in one group of young people with their girlfriend, they were they came to Saranath for the picnic. So one of the girlfriend of one rich boy, she lost. So the boy was searching his girlfriend. Buddha was sit, uh, sitting in one stone. Suddenly this man, this boy came and asked the Buddha, "Oh man, did you see uh, any girl walking around here?" And Buddha simply laughed and asked. You are searching for girls when you are searching for yourself. Timi tera kiti la khoji rakhi kuch ho. Timi afule afule koi le khoch ho to. This man, the the kita ta chakka pore ki bandhi sa. Jab Buddha le jaye, he started giving a talk to him. He was so impressed. He immediately became a Buddha's follower. Then fifty-four other friends of him, and all became Buddha's friend. I mean the Buddha's disciple. So they all together, they became a 60. And first time the Sangha was formed at Saranath. And Buddha said to his disciple, the monks, go, go, go and spread this teaching to people. It's for the benefit of many and happiness of many. Then Buddha came to Rasgir because before he was enlightened, he met the King Bimbisara. Bimbisara was so impressed to talk with Siddhartha. Bimbisara even offered the half of his kingdom to Siddhartha. You stay with us. Siddhartha, he, he said, denied. I had my own kingdom. Oh, Raja, what do you do? I mean, what I will do with your kingdom? 
maybe Sara requested, Editini le gyan prapta paibachi, please come and teach to me and teach my people. So Buddha remembered that. So he spent his first rainy retreat at Saranath, then he came to Rajgir. This is where first monastery for the monks called the Belubana was offered by King Bimbisara to Buddha. So when Buddha was in Beluban, Suddhodhana, the father of Buddha, heard that his son became enlightened. He became a Buddha. So he is staying in both, I mean, Belubana at Rajgir. So Suddhodhana, he wanted to see his son before he passed away. So he sent his messenger, his own minister Kaludei and the Channa, the charioteer, to go to Belubana meet the Buddha, invite him to come to Kapil Bastu. So Chanda and Kaludei, they came to Belubana. It was evening time. Buddha was giving a Dhamma talk. So they didn't want to disturb the Buddha. So they spent a night in the jungle that night. So next morning, when Buddha was in a walking meditation, those two men from Kapil Bastu appeared in front of Buddha. Buddha was so excited to see them. And Buddha asks about the, how his father, how his mother, how his Yasodhara. Even he asks about the Rahula and all the relatives. And lastly, Buddha said, why you came to such a far away? Then Kalude and Channa said, the king has sent us, king has, I mean, sent an invitation to you to come to Kapil Bastu. King is getting older and older. He wanted to see you before he passed away. So Buddha accepted that invitation. And Buddha said that, Kalude, I will come to Kapil Vastu, but tell my father, I will not stay in the palace. Ask him to make a monastery outside the city, close to the river. And even Buddha said, why don't you stay a few days and taste this dharma? So they spent a few days and they came back to Kapil Vastu. And the king was so excited and they informed all that we met the Buddha. He had so many, you know, this disciple. He is a clean shave. He don't wear the swear. He wear the yellow robe and they go and asking for the food. And Buddha requested to make a monastery outside the city. So Buddha, after the rainy retreat, Buddha started his journey from Rasgi to Kapil Vastu. So King was so excited to see his son. He ordered to make a monastery. So Buddha, it took it around the 60 days to come to Rasgir. So when the king heard that Buddha is coming to Kapila Bastu, he jumped from his bed. He came to the border of this kingdom. So he saw far away, there is a line of 300 monks, all clean shaved, wearing yellow robe, no shoe, no any footwear. Everyone is carrying an arms pole and very meditative way they were coming. So when this monk's group coming closer and closer, the Suddhodana, he saw his son Siddhartha. So he wanted to hug his son, but he realized, no, he is a teacher. So he bowed down in front of his son. So Buddha, the, there was a monk Nagasamala next to Buddha. Buddha gave his arm, arms ball to that monk Buddha hold his father's arm and hug it. So Suddhodana's, you know, tears rolled down from his wrinkled cheeks. So he offered that monastery to the Buddha. Buddha, I built this monastery for you. You stay here. So Suddhodana, he went back to Kapil Bastu and he shared with his uh, Esod, I mean the Prajapati and, uh, you know, Esodhara. And Esodhara was so excited how he looked like all the stories are there. So next morning, Buddha, with the 300 monks, they came to the city of Kapil Vastu for the asking the food. Everyone was surprised. What happened is all this yellow robe without bare food, they are bare food, asking arms in the door to door of the city. Somebody closed the door. Somebody started peeping from the window. The news reached to the palace. The Buddha and the monks, they were begging food in the street. Suddhodana immediately realized that yesterday he didn't invite for the lunch. He came to the town and he went to the Buddha. My son, 
You are a prince of this kingdom. Why you are asking, begging for the food? You could have come to the palace. Buddha said, no, Raja, O Maharaja, in my path, we survive with the asking the food. So, Suddhadana invited, come to the palace. So Buddha and 300 monks, they went to the palace. Food was prepared. All the Sakya youths with their royal dress, they welcomed the Buddha. So the food was offered to Buddha first. Buddha ate, and after that, the other monks were offered. And he saw everybody, they were their presence in the, in the lunch, but he didn't see Esodhara. He asked his father, Father, where is Esodhara? Suddhadana told that she is waiting you in her room. So Buddha, he went to see Esodhara. When the Buddha opened the door, he saw Esodhara. She is wearing very simple dress, no any ornaments, no any, you know, this makeup and all that. Even the hair was not combed. And he entered the room. Esodhara started crying. Buddha allowed her to, you know, to throw that year, which was accumulated for six years. And lastly, Buddha said, Esodhara, why are you crying? Are you crying for Siddhartha? I'm no more Siddhartha. I'm the Buddha. So by that time, Rahula, the seven years old boy, he entered the room with the playfully, and he saw the mother is crying in front of a monk. So he asks, Mother, why are you crying in front of a monk? Who is he? Then Esodhara very jealously said that, Rahula, he is your father. You ask your inheritance with him. So after that evening time, Buddha and 300 monks came back to the Nikoda monastery. On the way, Rahula came and catch hold of his, the last finger of the Buddha. Buddha saw that Rahula is with him. So they came to the Nigrodharama, the monastery where they were staying. Even the Rahula again asked, he thought that this inheritance means some toffee or some, you know, some sweets. Father, where is my inheritance? Sariputra was next to the Buddha. Buddha asked Sariputra, Sariputra, pass on to my son whatever I have earned in my life. So Rahula was, you know, the first novice. He was Prabhajya was given to him at Nigradharama when he was seven years old. Evening time at the palace, everyone is searching Rahula. Rahula was lost. One old lady said that, oh, I saw him walking with his father. So the king Sudodana immediately came to the Nigradharama. During that time, Rahula was already became a novice. So Sudodana requested Buddha, please do not allow any children without their parents' permission to your, to your monkhood. So Buddha that made a rule in his Vinaya that if anyone wants to become a monk or a novice, he has to take a permission from his parents. If parents are not there, some relatives, uncle, aunt, somebody should be there. So this is how Buddha spent 40 days in Nigrodharama for the first time. And this is where he taught many sutras so one of the most was called the Sutra, which is very important Sutra in Buddhism. This is how Kapil was in any retreat. Buddha came and spent in Nigrodharan. And the last visit was after Kapil Bastu was destroyed by Koshala King Biradhaka. An orphanage, they were playing in the street. So Buddha took these children and came to Baisali. So this is so many stories associated with Buddha and the Kapilvastu, Lumbini, Ramagrama, Devadaha. So we'll continue some other time, Kadadai. So thank you very much. <laughs> okay, thank you.